round number one of our first heavyweight bout of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Steve Kent of Armstrong's Gym in Manchester in the white shorts versus Lewis Carr of Briggs's Fight Club in Norwich in the black and gold. And we've seen Steve Kent fight here before on Ultimate Boxing, a wily fighter with some strong shots, but will take his time in there, certainly won't rush in, all guns blazing. A bit of a ring veteran is Kent. Lewis Carr will look to push the pace a little bit more, got some big shots as the man from Briggs's Fight Club. So it should make for an interesting one here as Lewis Carr comes forward with a nice few jabs, hooks there. Again, a lovely few jabs there from Lewis Carr. Steve Kent needs to be a little bit busier here, ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving against the ropes, but that's not going to save him if he's not willing to throw any punches himself, ladies and gents. Lewis Carr coming forwards again with a couple of nice shots. Lovely jab cross combination, but Steve Kent just sidesteps him out of the way. Good movement there on a lovely shot there, just slightly rocks Kent. And Lewis Carr again with a nice big shot. Kent, strong jaw, not going down yet, but Lewis Carr starting to land a few big shots on the man from Man Manchester. Carr starting to make strides forward now. Really getting confident here in round number one. Steve Kent hasn't really shown us anything that Lewis Carr needs to be afraid of here in round number one. And that is only going to be playing on the mind of the man from Manchester as Lewis Carr just builds his confidence all the way through this round, starts to really walk his man down. Yeah, he's starting to breathe in hard though, the man from Briggs's Fight Club. May well have punched himself out early on in round number one. Steve Kent with a soft jab through the middle. Lewis Carr with a little combination as we move into the 10 seconds, final 10 seconds of round number one. A bit more bobbing and weaving there from Lewis Carr. And a nice strong round there for the man from Briggsy's Fight Club in Norwich. Here we go, ladies and gents, second round. Lewis Carr versus Steve Kent. Lewis Carr taking round number one quite firmly with some nice, big, powerful shots. And Steve Kent firmly on the back foot, just as he was in round number one. So it's up to Lewis Carr now, really, to push the pace and keep doing what he did in round number one. But he does need to be wary. Steve Kent has got some big bombs in either hand. And Lewis Carr would do well to remember that. The man from Manchester is a wily fighter. He hasn't really shown us much as yet. But he's certainly got some power, and Lewis Carr is looking to finish him. Here in round number two, doesn't want to give him an opportunity to use any of that power. Steve Kent lucky there, maybe not to receive a standing eight count from the referee. But has recovered nicely, and Lewis Carr will look to push the pace. Sucking in the air, though, is the man from Briggsy's Fight Club. A nice shot over the top there from Steve Kent. And Lewis Carr will look to push the pace one more time as his man pinned in the corner. Steve Kent just pops his head to the left, out and away. Good work again. We have Lewis Carr pushing Steve Kent, but again, Kent pops out to the left. He needs to be careful there. Always popping out to the same side. If Lewis Carr notices that, he might be in for a big shot. Again, Lewis Carr walking his man down, cutting him off to the left. And Steve Kent pops up to the right. Got a few jabs there for Carr. Coming forward. The man from Briggs, his ears really starting to suck it in now, ladies and gentlemen. Looks tired here in round number two. May well have punched himself out a bit early. Needs to be careful. Steve Kent has got power. Isn't really showing us a lot of it, but he has got it, I promise you. A nice stiff jab there from Lewis Carr, lands firmly on the jaw of Steve Kent. We come to the end of round number two. Third and final round here, Lewis Carr versus Steve Kent. And Steve Kent's been quiet in the first two rounds. But ladies and gentlemen, you can expect him to push the pace here a little bit more in the third, fire a few more shots. Lewis Carr certainly won't be wanting him to do that. 
Oh, careful there, Steve Ken just ducking through the ropes. Almost lost him to the outside world there. Lewis Carr comes forward with a few shots of his own. Really poor locking his man down though. He needs to be careful, he doesn't punch himself out here. Still has a whole round to go. Lands a few big shots. And Steve Kemp pushes his man away. Has to come forward with a jab of his own. And we have got power in Steve Kemp. We just need to see if it's going to pop out, looking for the right opportunity. Lewis Carr doing well so far, hasn't provided him it. Again, Lewis Carr, seven foot, seven steps forward, zero steps back. Really walking his man down. Not sure he's taking a single back step so far in this fight tonight, ladies and gents. Again, pushing his man. Steve Kemp bobbing and weaving. Lewis Carr starting to get a little bit tired here in round number three now. Getting a bit tired of chasing his man down, saying, come on, let's have a fight. As he comes with a nice stiff jab to the body. Steve Kemp bobbing and weaving, moving back. Looking for the opportunity. Nothing really doing for him so far. And Lewis Carr just chasing his man. Looking to land a few shots. And again, Steve Kent just zips out, bobs out. Not looking good on the judges' scorecards. And so far, ladies and gentlemen, we move into the final closing seconds of round number three. Steve Kent hasn't shown us an, a thing here in this whole fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's been Lewis Carr all the way, who's now looking to knock his man out here in round number three. A frustrated man from Briggsy's Fight Club. And that win will go firmly to the blue corner. Thank you. 